This is my 2016 Toyota Tacoma, and behind it we've got the 2015 Forest River Art Pod. Now in this video I want to talk a little bit about the towing capacity of the 2016 Tacoma and my experience towing with it so far. Um, the Art Pod is rated at 2,800 pounds for dry weight, so that doesn't include any water in the tanks, uh, gear, passengers in the vehicle. Um, so 2,800 pounds there, and then I've also got a utility trailer that I've towed with a little bit. And so I want to talk about those experiences so far with the Tacoma and just give you a little bit of an overview of uh, you know, what to expect as far as towing capacity with the Tacoma. Um, if you either have a Tacoma and you're thinking of getting a trailer, or if you've got a trailer or have an interest in having a trailer and you're considering the Tacoma as a possibility. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience so far with the Tacoma pulling the travel trailer and other loads. So the 2016 Tacoma has a 3.5 liter six cylinder engine with a towing capacity of 6,500 pounds. I mentioned that the R pod is 2,800 pounds, but that's dry weight. And so if you start adding in gear, if you have the water tanks full, um, you know, if you've got any uh, passengers that are in the vehicle, that's all part of the towing or the total towing capacity of the Tacoma. So even though it's 6,500 pounds and we're talking 2,800 with the R pod, once you have a few passengers in the vehicle, gear in the back, uh, water in the tanks, you're easily going to be looking at somewhere between 4 and 4,000, 4,500 pounds. Again, well under the towing capacity. So the Tacoma should have no trouble pulling the R pod. Um, now, so far in my experience with the, uh, with the towing, the Tacoma is a little underpowered. Um, and I've actually mentioned, I've got a couple other videos on my channel about the Tacoma. And that's the one thing I'm not crazy about with the Tacoma is that I feel it's a little underpowered. And that's even when it's not towing. And so uh, when, when you're driving up a mountain pass or something, it has to work pretty hard. Um, and the trailer really kind of compounds that factor. So um, it can tow it, but it has to work pretty hard at it. Um, now you can see right now, we're not having much trouble pulling it. I'm going about 35 miles an hour. It does just fine um, in those lower speeds. Where you really start to notice the difference is when you get up to about 55 miles per hour faster. So what I would recommend is if you are um, a current Tacoma owner and you're thinking of getting a travel trailer or you're considering getting a travel trailer or a Tacoma to pull a travel trailer um, or other heavy loads, really think about what you're going to be driving it for, uh, where you're going to be traveling with it. Um, if you're going to be keeping it pretty local and you're able to drive at lower speeds, Tacoma handles it just fine and you're not stuck with a big truck the rest of the time when you're not pulling a trailer. Um, if you're thinking of doing some cross country trips or going through the west, western United States and climbing a lot of mountain passes, you're going to have a hard time pulling a very heavy trailer behind the Tacoma. Um, and so just something to keep in mind. Now. I'm gonna jump onto the highway here in just a minute and give you a little bit of an idea what the uh, acceleration is like with the trailer and then um, how it travels at more highway speeds. All right, so we're at a complete stop. I don't wanna overdo it, but I'm gonna accelerate a little hard just to give you an idea. Okay, so not terrible. That's up to 40 miles an hour right there. up to 50 and that's not pushing it too hard. I I like to be cautious when I'm accelerating pulling the heavy load. I don't want to blow my transmission or stress the stress the truck too diff, too much but uh, gives you a little bit of an idea. Now I just got back from a camping trip with the trailer. My miles per gallon is sitting at about 13 miles per gallon. Uh, typically what I'm seeing with the Tacoma if I'm doing highway driving is that I'm gonna be a little closer to 23 miles per gallon. And so it takes a pretty significant hit having that 3,000 pounds behind the truck. Um, right now we're up to 55 miles an hour. You can see we're, we're traveling just fine, but it's fairly flat, maybe even a little bit of a downhill. We've got a little bit of a climb coming up ahead, and so that might give us a, a better picture of what it's like pulling this at highway speeds when you have an incline. Now the, the drive or the trip that we went on yesterday, uh, we started about 3,500 feet and we ended up climbing up to about 7,000 feet. And so the 13 miles per gallon is actually not that, or 
is somewhat impressive uh, considering the amount of elevation gain. Um, now that includes the, the rise and the drop because we got up to 7,000 feet and then we came back down. So we were sitting down in single digits with the gas mileage when we got up to the top and then coming back down, saw a bit of an improvement there. Now you can see here, we've got a little bit of a climb. Right now we're sitting at 50 miles an hour, 2,000 RPMs, not too bad. Um, but like I was saying, as long as you're below that 55 mark, it's not, not all that terrible. I'd be driving a little faster if this truck ahead of me weren't in the way, um, and I've got an exit coming up, so I need to stay in this lane. So hopefully he exits here and we'll get a better picture for you on the next incline. Not exiting. <laughs> but we do have another hill coming up, so I'll give you a, a little taste of the climbing when we get to that. Now, despite the Tacoma being a little bit underpowered for towing the trailer, um, I think that that's really where the truck is limited probably is with the engine. Um, as far as the, the vehicle swaying at all with the trailer behind, I haven't noticed any of that. It seems to really handle just fine um, on curvy roads and highway speeds as far as staying in a straight line. You don't get any of that body sway from the trailer. It seems to keep a really nice straight line. So I've been really impressed with that. Um, it's really just the acceleration that can be a bit of an issue. So up ahead here, we're gonna get a pretty good chance for you to see how it pulls on a somewhat steep incline. Again, we're not traveling high speeds, so it's not the best um, example, but here we're going about 35 miles an hour into this hill. It's important to try to get some speed going into it so that it can slow down a bit. And you can see here we're sitting just over 2,000 RPMs. Not too bad. Now it's important to mention that right now we do have a completely unloaded, so it's just 2,800 pounds. Uh, we don't have the water in the tank, uh, no passengers obviously, and then no gear in the trailer. And so it's a little bit lighter than what uh, typically would be when we're on a trip. The previous owner of the hi or of the uh, Arc Pod actually had a Toyota Highlander, which I thought was interesting. Um, they they said that it towed it fairly well. That may have been that they were just trying to sell it to us and, you know, imagine that it probably struggled a little bit as well. I think the Highlander actually has the same engine as the Tacoma and it's probably geared a little differently where uh, the Tacoma probably has got actually a little bit more torque and towing uh, capability. Obviously the chassis on the Tacoma is more capable than the Highlander and uh, probably sways significantly less uh, behind the Tacoma than it did behind the Highlander. And one of the things that I really like about the 2016 Tacoma as far as towing um, is having the backup camera and having a big screen for it too makes it a lot easier to line up that hitch than with my previous one. Uh, before, you know, it would be helpful to have a second person in the back kind of guiding you a little bit and to try to get it within a few inches was always somewhat difficult. Um, with the new Tacoma and having the backup camera, it makes a big difference backing up to that. And so that's something I would definitely recommend to anybody that's going to be pulling a travel trailer is getting a truck that's got a backup camera. Um, just makes that so much simpler to line up that hitch. So um, that's kind of just an overview of uh, the Tacoma's towing capabilities. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. For other videos of the Tacoma, ch check out my channel, um, and I've got more videos in the works. If there's something that you'd like to see, put it in the comments, and I'll see if I can make that happen. Thanks for watching, and take care.